Have the Grammys gone country? Taylor Swift, the Zac Brown Band, and Lady Annabellum will all perform Sunday night. We were sitting out there last year. Yeah, we were just hoping we could get a chance to do that. Jones and to get on yeah. that stage last year. It's it's a huge opportunity, and, and we recognize that. It's a it's a way for us to, uh, you know, represent uh, country music uh, to an audience that, um, you know, this may be there one time a year to kind of hear what's new in country music and stuff. And for us to be up there along with, uh, you know, Zach Brown Band, who Taylor. we're just extremely excited mm -hmm. about seeing as well, and Taylor Swift and, um, you know, all the other great country acts uh, nominated. It's, I think it's a big, a big year for country music, you know, and that's why you're seeing some more performances. Of it. You know, I've never been a top they would ever want to stay. Bring them home at night and they're gone the next day. The Zach Brown Band is up for three awards, including Best New Artist. You know, we've only been in, in country music as a whole for a year now, so it's uh, to be recognized on this level already is, is amazing. And we're, we're eager to show what we can do and eager to get to play and, um, you know, chomping at the bit to get to be exposed to country music listeners. Performing means Lady A might bump into their favorite artists backstage. And just being in the same halls, you know, this year being backstage, being performers, we're going to get uh, even more up close and personal with all these, um, you know, stars that we've looked up to mm -hmm. and have just been, you know, kind of these unattainable uh, figures and, and, and to actually see them in person and go, wow, you're, you're real. I can touch you. Um, I don't know if you can touch I'm them. Yeah. Your hand. Am I allowed to touch Paul McCartney and say, what's up, Paul? Dude, have you heard the new song? Cool. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be wild. The Grammys air live on CBS Sunday night. Caitlin King, The Associated Press, Washington.